Hey guys, today I'm filming my September beauty haul and this is actually relatively small, which I'm really happy about. Since I've moved, I've tried to be really, really conscientious of what I'm spending and really only buy things I feel like I have to have or things that I actually need. And I did a really good job. There are things that I purchased that I didn't really need, but they were things that I could justify. I'm really proud of myself, not to jinx it, that First off, I did not buy anything from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, which was kind of hard for me because there were things I wanted to try, but things that I knew I did not need. So I didn't buy a single thing from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. And secondly, I have not purchased anything from ColourPop since Kathleen's Ultra Satin Lips. I don't have any interest in their fall collection and they've released a ton of products. Things that are really pretty, but I'm telling myself, Heather, you do not need them. There's one shade of eyeshadow in the Dusty Rose collection that's beautiful, but like, no, I have too many similar shadows. Stay strong. So anyway, I think I did a pretty good job controlling myself this month and I wanted to show you what I purchased. So first I picked up a couple things from Ulta a couple weeks ago. It was either for one day only or one weekend only. They they had certain products for 10 times the points. Everything else was five times the points and it was free shipping on any order. You know how hard it was for me to only get three things. That's when I stock up on drugstore products. It's when it's free shipping and it is five times the points. And then when you have free shipping online, you can use a free 50 off $10 coupon. Like I wanted to go crazy, but I had some self-control and I only got things that I could actually justify. So one of the products that was going for 10 times the points was all mascaras. So I decided to get some of my Holy Grail mascaras. I haven't actually purchased mascara in a while because I have 50 bazillion mini mascaras I've been working through all year and I'm actually almost done with them, which I'm super excited about. So I decided to treat myself and buy some of my favorite mascaras. So I got these mascaras for 10 times the points of free shipping. Maybelline was buy one, get one half off. And I used my 350 off $10 coupon. So I got these for a pretty good deal. The first mascara is the Maybelline Colossal Cat Eyes. This mascara is so underrated and I love it. It is a wet formula and it is a natural bristle brush. It has this really nice curve to it, which really helps give my lashes some length and curl. Love this and I wear this in combination with the other mascara. And this is the original Maybelline Falsies. Again, it is a wet formula, a natural bristle brush. It has a slight bend to it, which I feel like just helps lift your lashes a little bit. It doesn't have as much as the Colossal. This is awesome for volume. I think the bristles just work so well to really thicken up my lashes. So I love this combination for long, full, fluttery, beautiful lashes. And I love these mascaras so much. I know so many Maybelline mascaras have come out over the years, and these are my absolute favorite Maybelline mascaras and two of my Holy Grail drugstore mascaras. And then I purchased one skincare product. This was five times the points, but I was running out of my toner. And instead of repurchasing my Holy Grail Neutrogena, I decided to try something different. My friend Jean tried this out and loved it. It is the Mario Badescu Keratoplast, K-E-R-A-T-O. PLAST cleansing lotion and this is supposed to be for people with red skin. It's supposed to help to calm the skin. Y'all know how red my cheeks are so I figured why not try this out. I've only used this twice and I like it. It's, it's very different. It almost sounds like it's soapy when you have it on your cotton brown but it's not actually soapy. It just feels really smooth. I don't know. I need to get used to it. I think it's good, but it's really different from anything else I've ever used. But Mario Badescu products, even though they are high-end skincare, this was, I think, $15. So I think that's a great price for this huge bottle. So because I always buy my Ulta products on some sort of sale or deal and I've cashed in my points and I've used coupons, I don't know if I'm going to make it to platinum for next year. And I really want to. I feel like Ulta platinum rewards are actually worth it, unlike the dumb old Sephora VIB. I feel like these are worth it. So we'll see as Christmas rolls around if I can make it. I think I'm going to try. I probably won't save as much because... I really, really want to make it to platinum. Next, I have a super, super small Sephora order. So Sephora had just come out with some new 100-point perks for the month, and one of them is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is one of my Holy Grail high-end mascaras. I think this is amazing, but 
I ain't gonna pay that full price. So I was really, really excited to be able to get this as 100 point perk. I never really cash in my points. I don't buy from Sephora very often. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. I cannot pass this up, but to get the 100 point perks, you have to purchase something. So I was trying to find one of the most inexpensive things from the clearance section. There wasn't anything that I wanted. So then I just tooted around the website for a little bit longer. And then I came across these Cosmo Cube mixing palettes. I think that this was only like $6. They do have a larger size that I think is nine or 10, but I decided to just get this. And I know it's hard to see because it's clear, but I actually like it. I've been using it ever since I purchased it. I've been using it to mix my foundations. Instead of mixing them on the back of my hand and mix them on this palette, I think it's nice. I don't think it's necessary for me to have personally because I'm not a makeup artist, but I do enjoy it and I'm glad that I have it because I am using it. Instead of just buying literally the cheapest thing on the clearance site, I just got this instead. And also part of that is due to the fact that I think this was $6 and one of the cheapest things was $5. And I figured eh, I'll probably use this, so might as well get that. So I did purchase that. I've been using it. I think it's nice. It's not a must have for me, but I am using it every day. So like I said, I did get the 100 point perk of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And then I also decided to get a 100 point perk of the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. And I plan on using this as a spot treatment instead of as a mask. I've never tried any Glam Glow products before. I've heard amazing things about this so I figured why not give it a try I know this is crazy expensive so I felt like if I use this as a spot treatment it would probably last me a long time so that is my very small Sephora order so next I purchased one thing from Walmart that would be the heart candy glamouflage mix in pigment makeup drops and I have the shade fair one which is the lightest shade I bought these because I thought oh my gosh a drugstore dupe of the cover effects custom cover drops I have to have it so so I definitely want to test this out and do a review. Emily Noel 83 did a review on all of the new hard candy products and she had a lot to say about this and she actually compared it to the cover effects. So I'll have that video linked up here. Please make sure you check out Emily's video. Basically, she said that this was good, but not a dupe for the cover effects. So I really, really want to try this out. I'm very excited to. I've only used it once and I want to try it more. You guys know I use my Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation and Porcelain as a mixer. So I wanted to try this as a mixer and unfortunately, the shade is not the same. This says Fair One, but this is a little bit more beigey, while the porcelain shade is like straight up yellow tone. So this doesn't match my undertones perfectly, but I definitely think I can work with it. So it has this little dropper style packaging. This is very, very messy. It is super duper liquidy. So I definitely gonna try this for a little while with a bunch of different foundations. And then I will do a review for you guys, but I think this was only like $7 or so. Really, really, really happy to have this. I would love to know your thoughts if you've been able to get this. And Hard Candy is a brand that is exclusive to Walmart. And then I purchased one item from Target, and this is the one product that I actually needed. Well, I needed the toner as well, but I was using the last little bit of my Wet n Wild Felt Tip Liner, and it was it was so miserable to use that because it was so dried out. I was just like going over the same spot over and over again. So I thought, Heather, you cannot wait any longer. And I wanted to get the Physicians Formula Eye Booster, but I didn't want to pay the full price. So I thought I would try out this one for the first time. This is the Maybelline Master Precise in the shade black. This is a felt tip pen liner and I have been using this for the past week or so and I do like this. You get a really really fine tip. It is super duper black. Really easy to do a wing with this. So I do like this except it does run. I have extremely watery eyes and I find that this really does run a lot in the inner corner. So if you have trouble with watery eyes, I don't recommend this for that reason, but the formula itself is nice and I like the applicator. So I'm definitely happy to have this. I will use it up, but once I finish this, I'm probably going to go back to the physician's formula. And then I have my Sephora at play for September. I'm still really enjoying this service. I think you get so many awesome products to try out for $10. So still, still loving it and I would recommend you guys sign up. So each month they have made the bag be a little bit different and it says this is not just a lipstick. So cute. The quality of these bags aren't the best. I don't know if I'm going to use them for anything. Right now I'm just kind of collecting them but 
I love this bag. I think that is so cute. So the hair product this month is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Nightcap Overnight Perfector. I've heard amazing things about Living Proof, but it is a really expensive brand. So I'll be excited to try this. And wowee, this is a really, really good size. So definitely not mad at this. Then I have the skincare product. Now, depending on what box you got, there were two different skincare products. One was a Dr. Jar Water Drop moisturizer and then the other one which I got which I'm actually really happy I got this one this is the Ole Henriksen sheer transformation and I think this is just a moisturizer I've heard really good things about this brand and I believe this product from maybe Young Wild and Polished I think this is a pretty decent size a really cute little jar I know the Dr. Jar one was actually a really really good size so if you're able to get that lucky you but I'm excited to try this as well and then we did get three makeup products Again, I'm super happy that Sephora has kept that going. One hair care, one skin care, and three makeup. Love that so much. So the first thing is something that I already own. This is the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I absolutely love this. I actually have two of the full size. So I'm thinking whether I should keep this or whether I should add this to my 5,000 subscriber giveaway, which I know is pretty late, but I'm still wanting to add things to it so I'm able to give more to you guys. So I'm not sure yet if I want to keep this or add it to that giveaway. This is the thing that I was the most excited about. These two things right here totally make the $10 for me. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the shade Trooper. I have wanted to try this forever and I was so excited when I found out it was going to be included in this package and I knew that I was getting this but I really really needed liquid liner and I couldn't wait for another week so I had to get the Maybelline before I got this. So this is a very small brush tip. I haven't used this one yet. I want to use up the Maybelline but We'll see, I might start using this before that one is used up. It was actually super funny that I got both of these products this month because I have just seen sneak peeks of the Too Faced and Kat Von D products that they're releasing for the holidays, and they are releasing a little mini set of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. So if I've used up these products, and if I really love this liner, I probably will buy that set, but I thought that was so funny that that was a set that I was just thinking about getting, and then I ended up getting both of these products this month. The other makeup product is a little mini Sephora lipstick. It is a Sephora Rouge Brilliance lipstick in the shade number 14. And they have all that information on a little sticker inside. And this is such a cute little mini lipstick. And this is a really pretty pink shade. This is the color I'll actually wear. Some of the other lip colors that we've gotten are a little bit too bright for my liking. And this is a sheer color. So definitely excited to use this. And the last item is the little perfume sample. This is the Atelier Cologne in Sud Magnolia. We've gotten a sample of perfume from them before in a different scent, so I will be excited to try this. So I was very happy with my Sephora at Play for this month. My number one product from this month was definitely the Kat Von D liner. And lastly, I have one PR item, and this is from Mimi Box. I haven't received anything from them in a while, so honestly, I thought they just took me off their PR list. And this is the Pony Effect Deep and Pure Lip Tints. I think they sent me almost all the shades. There are 10 shades, and I believe they sent me eight of them, which was super, super generous. So I think I'm going to try out a couple of these shades and do a review, but then I want to keep some of them for you guys to include in my giveaway because I know I'm not going to use all of these shades. So this is what it looks like. It actually kind of looks like a little mascara, but it has a doe foot applicator. So really excited to try this out. I hope I enjoy these and I will do a review for you guys. But like I said, I'm probably going to choose four shades that I want to keep and test out and review. And then the other four I'll probably include in a giveaway. So guys, that was my September beauty haul. Even though I didn't have a ton of products, I sure talked a lot. So I would love to know your thoughts if you've tried any of these items and I would love to know what things you you have purchased this month. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.